Hello there. My name is Dr. Salim Javed and I am an associate professor at the Department of Journalism and Mass Communication at Lingyas Lalita Devi Institute of Management and Sciences affiliated with IP University. We have been producing quite a few programs under the title of Understanding Cinema and past few videos we have been discussing about different story formats and in today's lecture we are again discussing about Gustav Fry attack pyramid but in a very new style. Now, if just to summarize, to recapitulate, what you see on your screen, this is how a fry attack pyramids look like. There is exposition, which is another name for introduction. Then there is an inciting incident after exposition. The action rises and it is called rising action. Then it reaches to climax, falling action and resolution. These are the some of the points that we have been discussing in last few videos extensively. Now today, in today's video, we will understand why and how these things can be used practically in today's world. Now the same uh, sort of a thing can be explained in another picture. Again there is a house shown, then there is a, a cell phone shown, there is a boy running and he has been ab abducted by an, uh, a spacecraft. Then there is a girl in a jar, then he is fighting with the alien and then finally a uh, boy meets girl moment is happening. Now when you look at you know fire tags pyramid, it is saying the same thing that how exposition starts, how inciting incidents work, how rising action works, how climax. So in the exposition part you have that there is a house, there is a family, there is a boy, small boy then the inciting incident propels him or maybe he receives a phone and propels him to run out of the house where in rising action part he is being abducted, in rising part, rising action part he is abducted and then in, in climax part how he meets a girl and in falling action all these things happen. So this is what broadly fry attack pyramid is all about. Now in what is special about today's lecture is how this fry attack pyramid you know we have been learning about it, how it can be used in modern marketing campaign. Yes, you heard me right, how it can be used in modern marketing campaign, how it can be used in documentary films. Yes, again, fry tag pyramids in modern marketing campaign, how it can be used in documentaries, how it can be used in advertisement and obviously it is a, a format which works best for cinema also. So in today's video we, are, we will understand fry tag pyramids from modern marketing campaign point of view then how it can be understood in documentary filmmaking uh, style, how it can be you know understood in terms of advertisement also. Now as the title says using fry tag pyramid and we are handling modern marketing campaign. How does it work? Now the point number one says conveying your brand story in given time which means few seconds to few minutes. Why it is written in few seconds to few minutes and how can you convey your you know, brand story, you know, your product story, the advertisement, the narration of advertisement or the visual narration, audiovisual narration of an advertisement in few seconds or in few minutes. Why there is such a variation called few minutes to few, few, few seconds to few minutes? There are ads which are 25 seconds long, there are ads which are 10 seconds long and there are ads because of digital media today which can be say 2 minutes or 3 minutes long. Now why they are called advertisement, what qualifies as an advertisement is again a very broad area which we will pick up some other time. But anyway, in terms of uh, modern marketing campaign, let us say that you have got some idea which is for certain uh, product or for certain brand and uh, you know as you know that advertisement is uh, you know uh, non-personal selling for an identified sponsor. So that need to be very sure that is why it is a brand story because um, it is a non-personal selling for an identified sponsor. So suppose if you uh, get an advertisement from uh, uh, say from a soap or from a noodle company or from a, a perfume company. So the creative team 
of the advertising agency. You know, obviously, first you have finance team, then you have uh, uh, logistic th team, then you have creative team, then you have production team, and then you have uh, different uh, a team which is scheduling uh, the entire sale for different media. So this is how a, a new advertisement agency work. So conveying your brand story in given time. Now suppose if I say that, um, uh, suppose if I go and meet some advertising agency and I say look uh, today's, in today's time on air time is expensive, I do not want my ad uh, more than 20 seconds or somebody says no, no, I want it for digital medium, I want it to be at least one minute long. So as per the requirement of the client, the duration of the advertisement will vary and as there is a longer or shorter duration, obviously the nature of story will also be affected and that is why because there is a story element and that is why we are talking about prior tag pyramid and how specifically prior tag pyramid can be used in conveying your brand story. So anyway, so first thing to be taken from uh, this particular lecture is that you need story to tell about your brand and there is where fair, uh, prior tax pyramid comes in. Now your story through advertisement is the extension of your marketing strategy. Now this point is also very important that your story through advertisement is the extension of your marketing strategy. Why marketing strat strategy as I was explaining about the structure of an advertisement agency you know uh, or when you are in a graduation or post graduation when you are making you know something uh, um, say um, your file, your project, there is where most of the colleges in Delhi and in India ask you to pick a one specific product and create a marketing strategy for that particular product. Now why marketing strategy? Obviously there is a budget, a portion of that budget will go into production creative planning and everything and there is a certain budget or not certain a good a good chunk of that budget which will go into that after making the advertisement what are the places that you are taking your advertisement to. So that requires a marketing strategy you know. So th look th this is how things are connected that you have got a certain brand or a product you have been asked to make a certain advertisement, maybe it is a AV medium, maybe it is only still, for, uh, maybe it is only a poster, maybe it is a digital ad which has got lot of uh, a, com a combination of lot of el elements. So by and the duration also, obviously if you are taking it, if you are a private player and you are taking it on air and especially on television medium then obviously your advertisement will not be very long. Possibility is that if by, by the time you are you know broadcasting your ad for the first time, so it is a 30, 35, 35 seconds or 40 second long advertisement. Okay? Once that advertisement gets established in the mind of the uh, receiver or the audience then you create a short version, shorter version of the same advertisement and because people have a longer version of that advertisement in their mind, so they have no problem accepting the shortened, shorter version of that particular advertisement. Now the third point says execute your creative idea for powering your company's image through storytelling. Now look at how these three points, how they are in you know the, how they are representing one stage after another stage that you have got a product or a brand and you have been hired as a um, advertising agency or as a creative person to convey the brand story to the audience. Now the second thing within this first thing comes that within how many seconds or within how many minutes you are supposed to say your story. Your story through advertisement is the extension of your marketing strategy. Now suppose um, uh, there is a very interesting ad recently which has got Shah Rukh Khan and Amitabh Bachchan and it is uh, a uh, masala ad. Now which says not that masala, it is sabzi wala masala you know. So it's, 
it says that uh, uh, they both are playing chess somebody opens lunch box there is a fragrance in air and they run to, you, you know then they started you know giving each other excuses and they run to have that food and the way it has been pictureized the way it has been executed is really interesting now the way you project in the duration you know be that 20 seconds or 40 seconds or 4 minutes and the way you mount your you know uh, advertisement is again what we have been talking in different story formats now the way you make your advertisement you know by using fry tags pyramid now it is look i am talking specifically or targeting specifically fry tag pyramid in this video but it is not limited to fry tag pyramid only so the way you make your advertisement the way you make uh, the way you take creative decision about that particular product you know tells the story of that company also now the next point says subtext in the story makes your product image strong appealing and helpful and helps educate the customers now so think of an advertisement where it is about a deodorant okay so very simple execution of advertisement is that there is an actor he comes in the frame he picks up a bottle of deo he puts it on and suddenly you know he says okay this is so good i feel it is very refreshing for me it refreshes me for 18 hours and he says, oh that's that's good that's good you know fine but think of a different advertisement of acts where you see broad daylight suddenly something is dropping from the sky and it comes with a force suddenly you see fairies are there on the floor on you know on road and why they are falling from the sky because somebody has applied some dew you know that that's an exaggeration but look at how for selling a bottle of perfume or a dew you know they have gone to different that uh, fairies live in in heaven you know so they have that subtext so it is such a um, you, you know pleasing um, uh, fragrance that even it reaches to heaven and you know angels or fairies fall from there you know so one on the one side you have an ad where an actor comes picks up the bottle and uses this way and says something 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 fine but when you add a subtext to it you know when you add a different story along with your product and you say that it is so mesmerizing it is so pleasing it is so soothing it is it it is so out of the world that people from out of the world also fall for it you know so it is again and, and it, it's a very popular ad ad uh, of that particular brand and when it came people actually liked it so when when i was explaining about uh, story formats like uh, uh, man with a thousand faces when i was talking about story technically technically story is very limited it is a subtext which makes the story very interesting like uh, during the discussion we I'll, I'll be showing you some images that suppose if there is a story which says uh, you know uh, there is a boy to pick up a girl uh, and the father is there he reluctantly let her go uh, let let his daughter go with the boy and then you know he does something and the boy drops the girl back home now that's the story you know it can be some other story also but the way you add subtext in the story will give weightage to your advertisement now why fry tag pyramid is is being explained in such a way in terms of uh, documentary filmmaking in terms in terms of advertisement or in terms of feature filmmaking i have been explaining about feature film how it works in feature film the image that you saw on your screen where a boy is running away from home 
because of some reason that reason can be phone also maybe he is not very happy maybe some unpleasant uh, uh, incident has taken place in the house he comes in the lawn you know something happens he is being abducted in physical sense also in or in extraterrestrial sense also then he grows up he meets someone and he finds that uh, uh, girl to be um, you know uh, point of interest for himself and then he fights and then you know he they come together boy meets girl story happens now from story point of view it's like boring technically you know what sort of a story is this you know, it's 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 not a story this is something that i have been watching uh, n number of times but if i tell you if you have seen avengers the star lord story is exactly the same and you have enjoyed that story watching so as you can see on your screen this particular image is basically the first part or act 1 you know from home to the point he is abducted is precisely there in you know, uh, is the story of that warlord now technically it's such a boring story but because subtext is there because his mother is dying and then his why his mother is dying again in the second part in 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 sequel that has been explained and from that specific point the entire film has got a new release so subtext is something this is what i i tell my student story is fine like what is the story that ram kills ravana okay that's the story why he kills because ravan abducts his wife ram's wife everyone knows the story but the way other stories are intertwined in the main plot you know how bharat comes how shatrughan comes how sabri comes how bali comes how hanuman ji comes how you know uh, uh, kumkaran or uh, meghnad all these people come and they add value to the story then how he conquers lanka then what happens after that these subtext makes ramayan an epic thing you know so the this is what i tell all my students that when you are working on a story for an advertisement also try to have a subtext for that text and there is where your product your idea like you see all the uh, fevicol ads or uh, when prashant joshi was uh, making happy dent ads there is always a subtext to that story you know there is a egg you know there is a you know work going on somebody picks up an egg and he is trying to break the egg to make omelet but that particular egg is not being broken he tries very hard to break it but he is not able to do that why because the the food that was kept for the hen the bowl was of fevicol now think of the bottle of fevicol that if somebody is eating a hen is eating from that box his egg is not broken then think of a product when the actual product is applied on wood or on something else you know when egg is not broke uh, when is egg is not broken how would that break how would that break so this is not an adhesive it is beyond strength it is beyond a company which is producing adhesive for your house or for your home so that is the subtext which should always be there in advertisement and this is what it is specifically talks about then the next point says challenge the notion of your customer and place your product in the realm of new knowledge generated by your creative idea counter implicit bias and germ the seed now take another ad of fevicol only because they really make some very interesting ads in in our country 
Now, there is a television, carpenter is working and in television film is being broadcasted and the scene is that a lady is hanging from a bridge, the man on the bridge is holding her hand and female is saying to male, chhodna nahi pakde rehna. And interestingly, when you are seeing the television, fevicol box is being placed on top, because it is a carpenter shop. So, fevicol ad is being placed on top of the television set, it is an old television set. Now, again, you know, pakde rehna, chhodna nahi, pakde rehna, chhodna nahi, and they are working. And, you know, there is a climatic, you know, um, scene going on and carpenters are absolutely lost in the work, they are looking at television and they are just finishing the wood. And Pakhle Rehna Chhodna Nahi is going on in the background and they are like, bhai kya chal raha hai, kya chal raha hai, kya chal raha hai. And suddenly one carpenter comes and he picks up uh, the box of Fevicol from television, you know, it is set on top of it. And the moment he picks up, you know, the, uh, the, the box of that adhesive on top of uh, television, you know, the actor, the male actor suddenly leaves her hand and she falls. So, now take, now look at how the product, you know, you like suppose if I say adhesive, you know, like fevicol. So, there is an, it is some images there in my mind, okay. So, the notion of the customer and the place your product in the realm of new knowledge generated by your creative idea. Now, as long as the box of that adhesive was on television, you know, pakhle rehna chhodna nahi was going on, you know, there was no problem. They were like, aage scene kya hai, aage scene kya hai, aage scene kya hai. The, but the moment he picks, you, you know, he picks up the box from uh, on top of the television, you know, that happens. So, uh, it means again the subtext or placing your product uh, in the uh, realm, in the new knowledge generated by your creative idea. So, as long as Fevicol is there, you know, so it is holding, you know, it is joined tightly together. But the moment Fevicol is not there, you know, it is not, it is breaking. So, this is how you challenge the notion of your customer and place your product in the realm of new knowledge generated by your creative idea. There are a lot of interesting ads, you know, which, which when I started watching a lot of Thai ads, you know, it, it's like long back and they make long ads, you know, three minutes, one minute, two ads, you know. Uh, they were actually broadcasting it on their national television and it is like not less than one minute ad kind of a thing. And beautiful ads, beautiful ads and I used to wonder why do they, uh, why they are, these are Thai ads, but why they are affecting me so much. What are they doing, you know, in a different country, in a different, it absolutely uh, a different sensibility. But why am I enjoying these advertisements? You know, there are a lot of interesting, you know, when you go to YouTube, type creative ads uh, or creative Thai ads, you know, you will fall in love the, the kind of the way they make their ads. You know, we, our, our advertisement industry is one of the best in the world. I cannot say that uh, in terms of films, but for advertisement, yes. You know, some big names, you know, Prashant Joshi to Pilat Kakkar, you know, many other people also. The way they made ads for Pepsi, Cola and the way um, Hamara, Bajaz, uh, Hamara Bajaz was made, a uh, lot of um, Jalebi bani hai, you know, Jalebi, all that, ki kare papa petrol khatam hi nahi hunda, all, some of the best ads limited time and many people of my generation, you know, they sing along Hamara Bajaj, Hamara Bajaj, you know, wonderfully written, wonderfully executed. 
So, when you talk about writing, you know, handling modern campaign by using Gustav Freytag's pyramid. So, we are talking about how you are conveying your brand story, how that advertisement is basically the extension of your marketing strategy, how you through advertisement you are powering your company for which you are doing advertisement, how subtext is playing an important role and how you are challenging the notion of your customer and in that change notion you are placing your product. You know one of the world's simplest ad is which I find usually everywhere you know garmi hai bahut garmi lagi ye pilo garmi chali jayegi. You know, this is world's sim, you know, uh, easiest ad. There is a cold place, you take this uh, hot drink and you will feel en energized. These are like when you are starting and you do not have a creative team, this is how you can start your company. You know, this is how you can propose, okay sir, this idea has got a limited budget. Okay, sir, we can shoot in Delhi. Sir, we can deliver you the final product in next 15 days after color correction also. You know, all these things, very simple. But if you are not adding subtext, if you are not challenging, if you are not challenging the notion of your customer, if, you, if your brand story is not promoting the company's image, you make simple ads. Otherwise, it is a tedious and challenging task. I hope to explain it further. Thank you very much.